on, you can do it. Kick ass, man. We're close, puck eye. Easy, man. I'm here to see Wolves. Oh. Uh, upstairs. Stupid ass motherfucker. Come on, Come Bergstone. on, Bergstone. Come ah. on. Go. 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 Come on. You can do it. I'm Johnson. I'm here to see Woolsey. I Bergstone, work with him. Yes, right this way. Uh, you know of the boss's curse? Curse? Nah. He's blind. Blind? But we was just racing cars last week. Yes, I know. He's blessed with unbelievable good fortune. And the triad that would do anything for him? We call him our lucky mole. I... I keep that in mind. Good. Woolsey! Hello, Carl. Hey, what's happening, Woolsey? You know, how you doing? Straight to the facts. I can't use your help unless I'm open with you about who I am and what I do. Let me reintroduce myself. I am the boss of the Mountain Plowboys. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Why don't you sit down? As Daidailo of the Triad, it is my responsibility to see that disputes are settled without uh, damaging important business. Where I come in at? We shall see. I'm about to drop in on a local Triad that failed to show face at the last Tong meeting. Come with me, and you'll see how we Triad settle things without recourse to unnecessary violence. All right, I'll ride with you. need a ride. Mine's getting some body work done to it. Alright, don't trip. That's mine. The Blood Feather Triad have a storehouse around the block. We shall see what excuses they have to offer. Okay, so what's all this talk of business? Some small-time Vietnamese gangs have been making trouble lately. We're not sure why they're gaining any courage now, but I'm nervous about the situation. This is a place. Come on, it's this way. Watch my space! Now, where's that loose cop? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Just uh, checking the... Uh, you know, just shut up, Carl. This way. Our grounds are always pristine. Hey, what's with all these people? Where are they going? Something isn't right here. We should be careful. Follow me. <clears throat> What's wrong? You lost? You need a hand? No. No. I was just, you know, getting the feel of the place. Stick close. Ah, we're here. This way. Strange, this gate is usually locked. Stick close. Oh, man. Woolsey. What's got you so spooked? Oh, oh, sorry. Didn't see you lying down there. He's dead. They all are. The blood feathers wiped out? Die, die low. Uh, forgive me. I was too scared to fight, so I hid. Enough. What happened here? Vietnamese surprised us! Cut us all down! Shit! Here they come again! The Triads must have vengeance! Give me some cover! Now you don't give a shit. 
Operational <laughs> Get away from it. Hell sewers, that was a sniper bullet! You happy man? You lost the wheel. Welcome to In America, the car, quick. asshole. We got more company. You drive. I'll send them back to the sewer. These murderous scum. That looked like the last of them. Thank you, Carl. You saved me from having to kill them all myself. Okay, let's get back to my place. Token of the Tog's appreciation for what you did today. Hey, CJ. What's up? Hey, what's up, Jethro? Some cops are looking for you in the office, man. Tampin. All right, man, I got mm -hmm. it. Nice to see y'all kicking back. Oh. I wonder how your brother's sleeping, curled up next to his shower daddy while you lived comfortably on the outside. What y'all want this time? Well, what we want is to get on with our jobs in peace without some damn bleeding heart liberal poking his nose into affairs he won't even understand. The press on the uh? What the hell would you know about it, boy? Whoa, easy there, Eddie. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Some young journalist out there is trying to get a name for himself. He doesn't know how the streets work, that he's supposed to report what he's supposed to report. Yeah, anyway, we need you to shut him up for us. And that Stooley, shut him up too! Yeah, that's some reporter who's digging up dirt on Pulaski. We don't know who's talking, but we know the reporter's meeting him today. Take care of him! Oh, this is a nice place, Carl.
you your chance to be a player. I'm on your ass, Daisy. We can talk about this, homie. I need you to meet me at Pier 69. We gonna take down the loco syndicate. Okay, Holmes. You need some backup? Nah, man. I got a cup. You on the ground? Up here, go around the back. Look out. Hey, man. Nice job getting that phone message. What's up with Jizzy? Dead. So, what's the plan? T Bone security got here real early. They got men on the roofs watching over the pier. Hey, okay. Yeah, yeah, I see you. That was Woozy's boys. They're in place. Look down by the side entrance. Shit, they heading up to the roof. Shit! Mina, we're gonna have to take out T-Bone's men on the rooftop before this whole gig blows wide open. Walk right into it. One of those triad boys is down. Hey, there's still some on the left, CJ. Man, my bussing was tight. Here comes T Bone. And here's that snake rider. Look at that fool. Hanging out with the ballers like they was lifelong pals. Something ain't right. Where's Torino? Chopper inbound! That's gotta be Torino. Oh shit, he'll see the bodies on the rooftops. Too late, man. He's tripping out, Holmes. Smoke grenades? So much for a surprise. Come on, we gotta take these fools right now. Ow! 
blame yourself. Mendez, I see you, Rifa, motherfucker! Hey, Ryder, sherm head asshole, where you think you going? C can't stop me. He's in it for those boats! Don't worry about it, I got this. Hey, Woozy, what's the business? My man found that van you were looking for, by the helipad downtown. And Torino? Yep, he's there. Apparently he's about to take some merchandise and cut out by helicopter. They've already started loading boxes. Something about Torino don't add up. Holler back if you hear something. Hey, what up, Z? Nothing is up, Carl, apart from my blood pressure and the imminent collapse of my hopes and dreams. Why? As usual, the forces of darkness have triumphed over good. Life is nothing but misery, briefly interspersed with agony. Homie, what you own? Whatever it is, you need to reduce the dosage. Excuse me, but I never take drugs. We all know drugs are for losers and or sex maniacs. And right now, sex is the last thing on my mind. Thank God for that. Berkeley is back. Oh, Berkeley. Yes. Who the fuck is Berkeley? Oh, just a man I once beat in fair competition. A man literally obsessed with revenge. Oh, you put hands on him? No, please. <laughs> I never initiate violence. Oh, I know. You knocked his bitch. Uh, no. I won the prize in the science fair. <laughs> First prize, that is. And now you want to pop you? <laughs> no. And they say gangbangers is petty as small-minded. 
Hey, what's that bleeping sound? That's him. We shall fight to the end! Berkeley's launched a full-scale attack. This is insanity! All batteries commence fire! He's going for my transmitters! If he takes them out, I'll never be able to launch a counter-attack. No problem, man, but they're only toys. They're not toys. They're just smaller. CJ, bogey's at 12 o'clock. As long as we have opposable thumbs, we will fight you! Well done, Carl. Now leave. I must prepare for the battles ahead. Never have so few owed so many. Too little three... No, that's not it. What is it? We will fight him on the beaches. Well, rooftops. Hey, Z, where you at? Go away, Carl. I'm, I'm very, very busy back here. Top, top secret stuff, not for your eyes. Too sensitive. Come on, homie, where are you? I said go away, Carl. I don't need any friends today. Thank you. <laughs> Man, them some pretty strong draws. Yes, my hero. Carl, he came back and humiliated me. I shall probably turn to prostitution now where I will be found dead and broken. 
I am a 28-year-old man whose landlord just helped him down from a hook from which I had been hanging from my underwear, contemplating my inadequacy for nearly two hours. Ow! My crack. Look, you gotta get even, homie. What kind of weapons you got? Uh, I've got a prototype of a miniature plane. Huh, <laughs> well with that plane, we gonna go humiliate Burke. Mm. Okay, cool. Man, this is ridiculous. That went right up my crack. Berkeley has his sycophantic lackeys do all his deliveries. Well, we shall hit him where it hurts the most. Launch the Red Baron.
before she runs out of fuel. smell smells like victory behold no man's land man y'all take this shit seriously berkeley's headquarters is across no man's land i'll drive the bandit you fly the goblin and help any way you can if i get the bandit into berkeley's base he must leave san fierro for good let battle commence Carl, don't be an idiot. Use the goblin to move that barrel. Carl, I'm blocked. There's another cursed barrel in the way. Move it! Carl, Berkeley's blocked me again. Curse you, Berkeley! Carl, move that barrel! Carl, move that obstruction. Carl, I'm blocked. There's another cursed barrel in the way. Move it! Carl, Berkeley's blocked me again. Curse you, Berkeley! Carl, move that barrel! Carl, move that obstruction!
Carl, I'm blocked. There's another cursed barrel in the way. Move it! Carl, Berkeley's blocked me again. Curse you, Berkeley! Carl, move that barrel! Carl, move that obstruction. Carl, I'm blocked. There's another cursed barrel in the way. Berkeley, you, sir, are a loser. Leave the field of battle in shame, pack up your crummy mail-order business, and get out of my town! Carl, you were all a duelist like me could want in a second. Sir, I salute you.